and we're back with another game, this time on Circuit Breaker. It's going to be movie against light. Light playing as the teal Terran in the top right corner, and movie being the yellow Protoss in the top left. This game is a few years old. I think it's just a ladder game. And for the newer people, or for everyone rather, you know Light and Movie to be great players from ASL and all the other tournaments, but Light has probably been the most consistent player for so many years now. He was. He, quite n he never quite made it into the. Um, the. single tournaments back in the day, like the OSL, MSL, but he was a Pro League Beast together with C for MBC. They used to win a lot of games for their teams. They weren't the best team, but they had many consist consistent players like C and Light. They had Jay Hoon, who was pretty much a meme back in the day. <laughs> and then you have Movie, who also he made it to the finals once, but he got crushed by Flash. But he was known for his pretty flashy plays. So this is going to be an entertaining game. Pretty standard openings from both. No fast expansion. Both players playing safe. I don't even recall if Light won one of the ASLs. I think he made it to the finals at least. I think didn't he won didn't they win one like quite recently? The movie also won one, right? I should have checked this before, but They've been doing great, both of them, in the post Kespa era. Which is to be expected since these two were top, top, top players back in the day. I think you might consider Light the best ever Terran to not win a tournament. Like, I, w I would rank Light higher than Mind by quite a lot, and Mind won. At least one of the most underdog finals ever, which that finals was just weird. Beeson didn't seem like himself, or mine just played out of his mind. <laughs> you see what I did there? <laughs> yeah, so like going for a fast expansion, seeing everything movie's doing, movie's not yet to scout light. They're both playing. Normal openings. He's gonna need a bunker here. There we go. The only thing you need to kind of not mess up in these situations is like the Protoss is gonna get range in like three, four, five goons even before you get your first tank out. And you need to not mess up with the repair. Because if you do, he can just run in, snipe the tank, and you're dead. I think the most normal rule of thumb is that you have as many SCVs repairing as there are Dragoons, and you should be fine if you keep. Is he actually gonna lose one here? No, he's not. Then you'll be fine. It's a bit. Sometimes you have Protoss players just run by, and he could do this because he only has two Marines and uh, they don't do a lot of damage. He's, he's playing safe, he's going for Nexus. It's not going to push through. He's going to be playing catch up though. The slides CC is already done. But he's probably going to go for. <coughs> sorry. Fast third here. There's a robo. Is he going to scout it? Oh, you need to micro movie. Oh, is he going to block it? Mm, he's going to see it, I think. Yep. He sees the robo, he knows exactly what's coming. Which is great for light. There we go, one dragoon. He needs one SV to repair at least, but he has two factors on the way. First machine shop halfway done. So he's not gonna die here, that's for sure. Second gas on the way. One more dragoon. 
two more dragoons coming. So he needs to repair with more than one SUE now. It's looking good for light so far, but it's still early on, so Let's see what movie does with the Robo Bay. There's always a ten end game potential with Reavers. If, if you just one huge splash and you kill tennis of East, then the game is like put in your favor by a lot. And he comes in again with another SUV, he sees exactly what's going on, he sees his Shadow Reaver, which he probably knew when he saw the Robo from before, but now he knows for sure. He can get turrets. Or not, he's not in the anyway. There we go, Siege, he has to pull back. Three SVs, three little boots, yes. There's... He's just gonna rely on Goliaths, he's not gonna... Or is this an eBay? Nope. It's a bit weird, but I guess since he knows exactly what's coming, he's just gonna try and out-micro the shuttle movement. There's no way for a movie to push through here. The tank is in a great position. He's gonna lose all of them if he tries to run through. Just, there's two more tanks here. Scan. Comset halfway done. Here we go. Reaver two zealots. He's not gonna be able to elevate them up either, because he has vision here, here. Third CC. Light is really confident he's going to stop this without, without taking any damage at all. But is he though? I'm not so sure. He sees it now, he uses it to react. He's going to get at least one shot off. There we go. Let's see. No, he messed up a bit. Maybe he doesn't need a turret after all. Scan from light. Third on the way from movie. Macro wise, both players doing well. Light is still in a great position. He hasn't taken any damage yet from the Reaver. He has a Goliath positioned here, so he can't like drop behind the mineral lines without losing the shuttle. Another factory on the way. He's building this in case movie just A moves through here. The Dragoons are going to hit this before the bunker. It's going to mess up the attack. Most players would just not A click, but some people would. And every tiny bit matters. He's going to get a shot off. Oh, no. Light is pushing out to get his third. He's taken zero damage so far, and his expansion is his third is already on the way. He's in a great position here. Movie needs to delay him here at least a bit. He's not gonna be able to though. Let's see, third is saturated quite well for Movie. He might be able to get in here now. There's nothing here of static defense at all. No Goliaths. Close. Let's. Oh, he can do damage here. This is why I thought you should get a turret, man. One, only one so far. He's gonna get two more. He's falling back a bit. He's gonna get a tank here for sure, unless it's dud. Oh, it's he gets it though. I want to say this is what you get from playing so greedy, light. Just one turret here and he couldn't have gone in. He's on. Oh, he's gonna get it. Oh, movie, no! At least drop the Reaver though, so you can do some damage. Oh well. At best, he would have gotten one shot off and got a tank to like 40, 50 HP. And like, could just repair it, so. It wouldn't have mattered, but. I feel like everything is worth a try when you know it's gonna die, anyways. So some unnecessary damage, but not too much. He lost three SCVs in a tank, I think. And a 
observer in his base, seeing everything. Uh, what is their vision like? Let's see. What? Did I mess up that? He has good vision here with his observers. He sees everything. He's gonna see the movement of the army when it moves out. Light should know for sure about this third, fourth on the way. I think both players are fine with where they're at. We see they're still quite even in supply, but the movie's gonna shoot ahead now soon. He has nine gateways up and Arbiter on the way. What are the upgrades like? Zero, zero, zero for plus one for light. Is he gonna push out, or is it just just to secure a fourth? Now he gets eBay. Let's see. Movie. This arm is too big. Movie too. He just got to delay. The arbiter is done right now. Oh, his light on his vessel, not even, doesn't even have a starport, so, yeah, no vessel in the future, but he has scan though, he gets the observer, but he still has one, alright, there's one more, barely survives, you can see movies now, just suddenly 40 supply ahead, instead of the 20 earlier, fourth is done, but he can't lose this one. That would be very bad. Oh, he's actually going for it. I don't think he can push this. Oh, the mines though, they're doing... Oh, that's huge. You should have killed some of the mines. You should always kill the mines when you move forward on the map and you have mines from earlier and your tanks are on top of the mines. That's just a disaster waiting to happen. Harassment here, but there's a cannon here, so he's taking no damage. Oh, he's gonna lose another tank now. He's reinforcing this. He has seven factories against nine gateways. This is a, it's a bit dangerous for a movie here. But he's gonna run out of scans eventually. He has two more here and zero there. So he only has two scans. Where's the arbor though? No, I didn't lose it now. He's killing the probes. Six done. Dead. I think he's gonna kill this army now. Movie, that is. Yeah, this army is dead from life. This. I don't think this did enough. I think movie is quite far ahead now. Light, no fourth. Movie fourth already saturated. At least Light has taken some map control down here, so he knows that the movie's gonna go for a fifth. Light might actually expand here, just to easily take out this one, because it's gonna be hard for movie to go down his ramp against tanks. Yep, here we go. There's the fourth CZ done. Fifth on the way. I guess he's confident at where he's at. 1-1 one, one for Light. Plus one for movie. Oh! This is good timing by movie. He needs to take this before light gets control of it. And he's gonna... Oh, he gets two tanks stuck down the ramp. That's really good. How many arbiters does he have now? One. Two. They're so close in supply though, which I find a bit weird. I thought movie would be f further ahead, and then he just shoots 20 supply ahead. I think Light is still fine, but he needs to secure his fourth. He needs the fourth or a third gas, because this base has no gas. He's going to try and secure both at the same time, that's a bit greedy, but he might lose one and secure the other, which would be worth it, I guess. He's actually gonna kill all the dragoons here. He has so many vultures. He doesn't even need the mice to sweat at them. He can just surround them and kill them. 
even the Wiltress suck against Dragoons, when you have 40 against 5, it's... He actually falls back. Yeah, I guess they're dying to mine, so we didn't need to lose more Wiltress. There we go, fourth down. SV transfer. The supply is quite low now, though. But he's in his base, so he's fine. Should be fine, at least. See some stasis. -es. Yeah, don't go through there. Good move. Fifth on the way for movie. Oh, you're really gonna push through here? Yes, stasis, I guess. One. That's a decent one. He gets all the buffer units so he can get onto the tanks, which is. But he has such. The tanks are so far back. There's hero. Well, I cannot push through this. You only get one stasis? What happened? There was no EMP, was there? Because there's no vessel. No, there's no vessel. I don't know what happened. Or was this actually two stasis? One and two. In that case, that was bad. Yeah, there's one here as well. I think he. Like, this is one and this one. That was bad by moving. You might push through here, though. I don't know if you sh can. Yeah. Oh, this is a good one. Good mine hit though. Light's, light needs a vessel. I don't think he can kill this base, but he can force lift. Maybe. Oh, he's gonna for focus it. He's gonna focus it. We need to lift and repair it. Oh, he lost both arbiters. That's not good. And he's probably not even going to get the CC. Yeah. These tanks should unstasis pretty soon. He has no more SAVs though. Yeah, he's going to lose it. Oh, it's going to be close. Repair light. There we go. But here's the second wave. Light might actually die here. I think... Is he fine? Relentless by movie. Yeah, this might be the nail in the coffin, actually. He has a CC, but he has a second CC on the way, but he's losing so many. Yeah, he's. Is he dead here? I think so. His bolt was here. This base isn't saturated yet, but. Yeah. GG, boys. Well played by movie. The first attack by light did nothing. And he was too far behind to recover. Too many Arbiters, no Vessels, no EMP, free Stasis. Very good game by movie. I think Light was ahead and he pushed a bit preemptively. Didn't need to yet, but he knows better than me. It just didn't work out. Oh, he was far ahead and resources.